I need to do some Ian Duncan Smith. Duncan. George. Duncan. What are we doing? Alex is trying to but he moved on very quickly from well, there's no point in sitting and discussing it you guys just want to talk about irrelevant well, issues well, it's become it's become an issue in the con in the contest because of michael go it's an issue that there's not the same issue i'm afraid so. mm. and is, is he being dishonest when he says he can get a deal by october 31st no, i don't know anything and i'm the one that sat down at the divani on two separate occasions and i have to tell you now i do believe but the way they went originally is wrong. You need to put the money back on the table and you need to say, we want a free trade deal. Once you've done that, then you can sort the rest out and that's the key to the negotiation. What a, a nonsense. Why don't you go away? Shouldn't okay? he be a, I agree with Damien Green about you, Shouldn't by the way. he at least be able to say, we may need a bit more time if there's a deal being done? No, no. Honestly, if you go on doing that, you never reach a deal. Nothing but nonsense. <clears throat> Nothing but nonsense, Mr. Duncan Smith. What? Uh, I thought it was a decoy with the doors open. <laughs> Bernard Jenkin? Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Jenkin. It's not going well for you guys, is it? Are you back in Boris? What, a man that's been sacked twice for lying, had an affair and lied to the Tory party about it? Is that someone we could trust in public office, even? What do you think? I, I think that um, you're out to make trouble, as usual. I'm out to make trouble. I'm just stating facts here, sir. Usually, what's wrong? What's wrong with the truth? You usually think that shouting is a is a substitute for proper political debate. Um, but it's democracy, sir. We can shout if we like. It's not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. It's not going well for you guys, is it? <laughs> was Boris interesting? How was how was Boris? A man sacked twice for lying? Had an affair? Lied to the party about it? Is that someone we can trust in public office? I thought not. Thank you very much. Oh, Mr. Williams. Hello, Gavin. How's Boris? Very well, thanks. Is it? A man that's been sacked twice for lying, had an affair, lied to the party. Is that someone we can trust in office? Thank you very much. Hello. How's Boris? It's like a shooting gallery here, and I'm holding the phone wrong, so my hand shakes. Do you want me to have the phone? Um, just a second. Can you just give me a minute with James? Please? Yes. James Cleverly. Oh. James, hello. Hello, What did you think? I think Boris gets a really confidence of what we can be as a country, that sense of opportunity, social justice, and the other things too. I think that's the, that's the key part of the message now. I think he, he, he wasn't well. the person you originally wanted to back in all of this, was he? I mean, uh, is he really going to deliver the sort of outcome that you would want? I think he can do. I think he is the best person to deliver a deal, and that is profoundly what I want to see but for our country. But can really do it by October the 31st? I mean, shouldn't well, he at least be honest and say, doing a deal by October the 31st is not going to happen? Oh, well, no. Well, yeah. I mean, shouldn't he at least be fair to say, he says I don't, I want to leave with a deal.
the deal. It's not going to happen by October 31st. Well, I think that you know, I think that it's now a question of clearly being focused on the campaign because nothing is taken for granted. We need to move through these next few weeks, and I hope that Boris is then there to be able to have that discussion with our EU partners and how he wants to do that, as he said, in a, a friendly, constructive way, knowing that there is a real sense of what we can do together. It's and so I honest, it should, it's just not honest to be able to say, I want a deal and we can still leave on October 31st. It shouldn't just well, be prepared I, to I, level with the public a bit. I think, I think Andy, it's, a, it's really a question of giving a clear and certain message of intent that we must give effect <laughs> to the wishes of the British people. That is what Boris has said. Bullshit. I think actually, it's felt by all of us, that sense of responsibility Responsibility that we all have to deliver on the wishes of the British people. And yes, Boris said his comments, it's not going to be plain sailing. There will be challenges that will be there. But we must be resolute in being able to do this. And yes, securing that deal, seeing that we leave in a seamless way. And that is what Boris was very clear in what he said. And equally not aiming or having that ambition or intent to leave with no deal, but being prepared. And by doing so, we're in the strongest position to be able to get that outcome. A lot of Thank questions you. about Thank his character we as go. well. Do you believe that nonsense? Sense. I think I think that I think that you know clearly as you know Boris was saying to, today you know things that he would look back on that he would have perhaps done differently but but ultimately you know, he, he wouldn't have lied he wouldn't have had an affair he wouldn't have lied to the party about the affair do we want a dishonest man as prime minister why I think he's the right person at this challenging time for our nation and how we must move forward Thank you. What about the lies he tells, James? He lied to the party about having an affair. He was sacked twice for lying. Uh, hello. hello. Good you're to see you. The, you're the community secretary. You're the man in charge of ensuring community and racial cohesion in this country. How comfortable do you feel about supporting Boris Johnson, who cannot give a straight answer on the racially insensitive language? I think I think Boris Johnson actually underlined and recognised what he said during the course of his speech today. We must be an inclusive nation. Not going to answer my questions, though, are you? That's not the language he uses. That's what he uses on the stage there. But in his columns, he has used, as you know, really insensitive language in a racial context. I think that if you if you look at Boris's records as mayor of London, lies, lies, and more lies. And yes, we must challenge ourselves over how we bring our country together, how we recognise all heritage, all backgrounds, how we as a country are stronger as a consequence. He's that. not to f he's not fit to be in public office. He's that approach that Boris Johnson showed as Mayor of London, and I know and want him to do it. Actually, underline that again. But the Conservative right. Party has Sorry. been Go. talking Go. amongst itself. He's a liar. He's lied to his party. He's dishonest. I, I think if you look at Boris's record, he actually showed there how he could be good. How actually during the Olympic Games, he was able to catch the spirit of the nation at that time. And I think it's now nonsense. Looking at the way in which we can approach this now in government as we move on, having a sense of optimism and ambition. What utter nonsense. Boris sacked twice for lying. Lied to the party about having an affair? Really, we cannot trust a man like that in office at all. Mog's there now, is he? Boris is dishonest. <laughs> Hello, Stanley. You could be heard. Could I? Thank you very much. <laughs> Where, where is Respog now? He's gone, is he? 
Okay. Give me placards. Hang on. It takes two to tango. And if one side says uh, we are not going to negotiate, well, you can either have no deal or you can find uh, that they have to change their position. Or we could just revoke Article 50. You're confident that that can be done. Well, or we leave without a deal. That's the quid pro quo. And the EU has to decide whether that's what it wants. Very straightforward. Thank you very much. Okay. Have you got everything you want? Jacob, for you, boy. Revoke Article 50. It's not a done deal and it never will be. I think. Right. You've now um, introduced Jacob. Oh, sorry. Hey, carry on, Mr. Smoke. Of course you can. Right, here. Have these. I'll hold this. Got it. We'll have to clip that quite a bit. Yep, yep. How many porkies did he ask Mr. Ant? Uh, no, sorry, that's How dumb. many porkies did he come up with? No, he's finished. Come on, Mr. Francois, you know he's telling porkies. <laughs> Too right. What question, he's, um, question got that answer? He's a vile man. Don't worry about that. Him and uh, Andrew Bridgen 